Hello and welcome back to Camping with Emmy. I'm Denise. Welcome to the second installment on my series on retirement. In today's episode, I'm going to be discussing loneliness. Are you retired? Have you had feelings of loneliness? If so, this episode is for you. So without further ado, let's get started. I thought that when I retired, I would feel a sense of relief, but instead what I felt was a profound sense of loneliness. I wasn't ready to retire. In fact, I could hardly even say the word. I had always been proud of the fact that I was a hard worker and I had always planned on working well into my 60s. I was used to working in an elementary school with hundreds of students and many staff members and co-workers, and every morning I hit the ground running and I didn't stop until the end of the day. But with being in my 50s and having Crohn's disease, by lunchtime I was running out of steam. And I would wonder how I was going to make it through the rest of the day. I knew I couldn't keep up this pace any longer. I knew that I needed to slow down and I needed to start taking care of myself and try to get this disease under control. But that didn't mean that I was happy about it. In fact, I cried for the better part of the first year. I missed my students, I missed my coworkers, I missed my friends, and I was lonely. It was the last house on a dead end street. We couldn't see any of our neighbors. We couldn't see any cars go by. We couldn't even see the road. It was beautiful, but very secluded. It was everything my husband had always wanted. He was ecstatic, but I was miserable. After my first year of retirement, we sold our home that was on a busy road and close to town to purchase a home on a few acres. My husband Rick grew up in the city and had always dreamed of living in the country. It was silent and I felt more alone now than ever. Rick was still working and interacting with people every day, so he enjoyed the solitude at home in the evenings and on weekends. I am neither an introvert or an extrovert. I have always enjoyed having an active social life, but I've also enjoyed having alone time and quiet time as well. We lived in this house for two years. We ended up moving just down the road, but our new home had a large pole building that Rick had always wanted. We still had a few acres, but now I could see other homes, people, and cars going by. I no longer felt like I was the last person on earth, and I no longer felt so isolated. For me, the answer was balance. Balance was the key. Balance is the key. Being able to find balance between working on all of my projects, spending time with family and friends, and still having time to relax and helping my body to heal. I no longer feel extreme loneliness. I feel contentment. It took a few years to reach this point, but I'm finally there. I learned to enjoy the quiet and the solitude. I realized that slowing down and taking time to reflect on my life, where I had been and where I am headed, was the key to finding peace. I became much more aware of my surroundings, spending time in nature, and just enjoying the simple, quiet pleasures in life.
I made peace with loneliness. I think that these fall slip covers turned out so cute and I love the fact that I can just unzip it and wash it and put it away until the following season. I think I'm going to make some Christmas ones as well. So are you retired? And if so, was it hard for you to retire? Did you feel sadness or loneliness? Did you miss your job and your co-workers? If so, you are not alone. Many of us out there, I think, feel the same way. And if you do feel this way, I hope that you are able to come to a place of peace and to enjoy your retirement and to be able to learn to relax and let go. Maybe take a walk every day and experience some nature, some things that you didn't have time for when you were working. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching today's video. I love and appreciate you all. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.